so today we're going to be doing some repotting. I have started off with this Hoya uh, Hindu rope, varig outer variegation. Um, she was a Costa Farms um, Hindu rope, but she wasn't doing too hot. She's been in her, she was in her pot for like over a year. I can't even remember exactly when I got her, but I I believe it was like a year and a half, maybe almost two years. Um, but I started seeing there's just a little bit of decline, so I checked. Um, the soil was just being too moist for her, and um, some of the because she is a little bit heavier, the leaves are pretty thick. Um, when she was bending this way, it kind of caused some of the um, the stems to crack. So I had to cut off basically all the plant um, so I could restart her. Her leaves are not as green as they usually are. I gave her a sulfur treatment because I was thinking that some of my Hoyas might have flat mice and I was dealing with a yellow aphid infestation. Um, and I have tried just about everything to get this god dang sulfur off. And um, it just hasn't come off. So I'm hoping in time with me rinsing her and stuff like that the sulfur will wear off she does have signs of new growth um uh, you can see this like super red leaf right here and she just has a couple of new stems growing in within her um ropes so i'm not too worried about her i'm going to be i'm excited because i get to use this right here I've been wanting to use this and I just didn't have anything to use it with. So I'm going to be um, re rerooting her with a sphagnum and orchid mix. So it just has a little bit of aeration. And just keep an eye on her from there. And then I do have a couple other plants to repot. I just don't have it up here with me yet. We'll go through the process because I do have baby boy with me. And um, I may have to take breaks in between here and there. So... Hopefully this will work out. I'm pretty sure this will work out for it because I've been really wanting to use this dish. I got this dish from the riot room. My husband took me there to like let out some steam. And this was just too nice to crush. Like I'm like, I'm not finna, uh, what do you call it, smash this up. It was too good. It was too nice. And I just, I couldn't do it. Like my ancestors would be like, my thrifting, the thrifting gods would be like, don't do it girl. But yeah that's on the menu for today i'm gonna just go ahead and put this in here for some reason i thought this dish was a little bit deeper but that's okay so for the mix i just used sphagnum and then a uh, miracle Grow special orchid mix i like that it has um these orchid barks uh charcoal and the the thicker chunks of perlite just because i don't use I don't really use this small perlite anymore. It gets dusty and I just like the chunkier mix. So I'm just placing them wherever. Just kind of shoving them in there. And I may have to trim a few stem here and there to make sure that she's secured in there. Um, so yeah. checking her out uh last night i did take her out and i did film that um so we can jump um this video will probably we have jumps here and there but i did film me on potting her um 
And then I did also give her a little treatment with, um, what do you call it? Hydrogen peroxide because she did have a bit of like, um, like I said, the roots, I guess this root rot. Um, so I was giving her a treatment thinking that, okay, I should be able to save the roots. The roots were not savable. And then when I start looking deeper into them, um, the uh the stems were just broken from broken from the weight of the weight of these because they they can get a little heavy uh and it was just bent it wasn't it just yeah i just couldn't save it so um, i might let go of these two stems so she has a little bit better of an anchor and I've started to use um, the Orchid Mix along with my Sphagnum to help with aeration because I just feel like the Sphagnum, it gets so tight in there. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of some of these leaves. It makes me sad to have to get rid of some of these leaves because I'm like, oh, I don't want to. Like, But she needs a better anchor. So we're going to sacrifice these leaves so we'll have better growth later. Yeah, that helps. And there she is. Cute. And I have the perfect spot to put her. Um, so I'm going to go get the other things I need to. That I'm going to need to. I'm going to get the other things and then we'll be back. With this one, my plan is to chop her in half, um, and then I want to have her climb up like this, because I think it'd be really pretty. My son gave me this for Mother's Day, I want to say about, it was last year, and she's grown a good, but I just like to see her on a pole. I think she's already getting like a pretty big leaf, so I want to like upsize her leaves. I think this would be a fun one to experiment with. Um, uh, and I initially thought this was a golden potos, but um, this is, it seems to be a snow queen. Uh, he did this in his classroom. So I'm gonna cut right here. Yeah, right there. And I'm gonna let that dry out. And then I'm going to do this and then decide if I want to go ahead and repot it now and start it on the pole or wait until that's rooted. So with my Jose Bueno, um, there's a couple babies in here and I want to take them out. So I'm going to start with that one. She's been in here, her new spot for, I want to say like a month now. And she's grown a, some, good le some good roots. Um, but I want to just try to take these babies out if I can. Um, my little sister wants one, which I really shouldn't give it to her because I always be buying the plants and she just reaps the rewards of being my sister. <laughs> so I'm just kind of nudging it out there and seeing, because I don't want to take the whole root ball apart. Uh, let's see if I can get some of these. Just taking the top soil out to see what I can separate. Um, there's like two smaller baby ones. So uh, if I can get both of them out, I would like to. Oh, There's one. There's a little bitty roots attached to it. I had to kind of separate it by like uh, yanking it off the attached one. There we go. This one has a good root attached to it. And I'm just going to put them in here and let it kind of chill for a second before I give it to her. Um, so that way I know that it's rooted and it's not going to dip out on her. And put her back in her home. And with my soil mix, I... I pretty much do the same thing with the sphagnum. Just do the 
orchid the spec the special orchid grow mix along with a uh, soil i usually i used to put it used to be really heavy with the orchid mix uh but now since i have like a little bit less time to spend on my plants i've been putting a little bit more soil into it so <clears throat> that way i don't have to water as often i'm just adding this for support there you go she's beautiful i love this i love this jose bueno this new leaf so they come out white and then they eventually turn mints so the leaves don't like crust or anything like that like you can see uh where's that it was like a all minty one so this one is basically like all minty and it came out like this and it has another minty leaf growing this it, leaf is like huge it's just growing so well um and i've had her since november and she's grown quite a bit so i'm gonna put her back in her home and this one is my syngonium ribbon i got this for my birthday and i'm just gonna pot her up she has a good amount of roots um into this terracotta pot and she was really in sphagnum Good. I'm trying to get the sphagnum off the roots. There we go. Roots look healthy. And she already got a new leaf since she's been with me. This one. So cute. Just gonna have to put this on my lap. Yeah, try to center her. Hopefully I don't drop this soil just like balancing off of my lap. I just don't have like a table. So. Shimmy the roots in there. She might need a little support stick. And then once I'm done, I'm going to water her in there. And then I almost forgot about these. LOL. <laughs> I, I need to get like checked for like ADHD or something because my mind just be going everywhere to be honest um yeah i start one thing and then like i move it on to the next task and then i go back to that task it's just like yeah it gets kind of crazy i would like to blame my kids and a little bit is mom brain but honestly i kind of been like this my whole life so it's all right I am going to add a little bit of the sphagnum on top to help it keep a little bit moist while it roots. And she's got a cute mint leaf. So I'm, I don't, I don't plan on giving both of these to my little sister. I do want to root another one. Just like, maybe just so I can have it to gift or to trade or something. But I'm just going to root them together to save space because my plant space is very limited. Okay. A little piece of one of the leaves are bent, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off. Cutie! Okay. I have one of my plants outside I need to go get real quick that I want to change out the soil too so give me one second i have this hoya um i forgot exactly what it was if it's a bibliato or bibli something i'll put it on the screen but i originally got a smaller one which is up there i need to get it and i would like to keep pots them together like i said to start saving space um this one did have a, have a sulfur treatment on it as well that's why the leaves look kind of white but these new leaves, I put her outside, and they're so gorgeous. They got this 
purple rim about them and it's growing beautifully it does have a lot of new growth i do want it's still in that soil that it came in so i do want to give it some fresh soils some better aeration because that soil that coastal farms packs them in with can be pretty compacted i already repot this so this looks like my soil so the soil mix doesn't actually look too bad so i think i'm just gonna add I know I topped it off with some of my soil, so I'm just going to add the other one into it. Yeah, because this looks similar to my mix, so I don't, maybe I did repot her already. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's just my mom brain. That part is my mom brain. I be forgetting things, and I feel like a lot of the moms that I talk to are like this way. So I'm going to go ahead. She, you know she has more than enough space to grow in here but i'm just gonna add the other one in here this one is growing well too um the new leaves are coming in the same i'm pretty sure that it's the same it's the same thing because they grow the same they look the same so yeah um i got this separately and yeah she has more than enough roots too so i'm just gonna pot them together to save space i have enough space right now because a lot of my plants are outdoors but once i have to bring them in i know it gets pretty crowded once i have to bring my plants back in so i'm just thinking about future me and trying to set myself up for success for once <laughs> Just use the same soil because like I said it'll be outside. Um, and this soil mix looks like it was my soil mix, so I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, should be outside. Hopefully the the predators will help me out a bit and get rid of some of that aphid along with the neem oil. I'm not really sure if the neem oil is harmful to things that eat aphids, so I'll have to look that up. The only thing I've seen that will eat the aphids from my research is like um, ladybugs or um, lace wings. I don't really see too many ladybugs unless I introduce them. I don't really see too much, too many outside, but maybe this will attract them. Okay, friends, so that's all I'm going to do today, actually. Uh, I'm going to let this root up and probably come back in. I will probably put this on a pole before this gets fully rooted and able to transfer over to that same container. Um, but uh, I am going to need to be with my son right now. And I do have a couple of house food chores I need to get done. So I'll save that, that pole for another day. Uh, but I'm going to get this in some water and I don't throw out my soil. I just reuse it in my outdoor garden. Me and my kids have like a little garden outside. So I just reuse it right there. It seems like so wasteful to throw it away. But that's just sidetracking. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this repot. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more. See you guys later.